Hi guys, it's Colette, and today we're going to be working on this hollow taco water marble. If you love nail art, be sure you're subscribed to my channel, my simple little pleasures. And if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. Starting off with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel off base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. The colors that I'm going to be using today are from the Hollow Taco Launch Collection. For my base color, I'm going to be using Royalty Blue with the Flaky Hollow Taco. And then Christine didn't seem to think that they would water marble, but I am going to be water marbling with One Coat Black and the Scattered Hollow Taco. For our water marble, I'm going to go ahead and protect around my nails using tape as well as liquid latex. And you can use whichever type of barrier you prefer. As usual, for water marbling, I'm working in a 5 ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. And I've done several tests with the Hollow Taco collection over my last couple of live streams, and I found that for the most part they do marble okay with the exception of the blue. And that's why the blue is our base color today. They're a little bit tricky in that you can't use too many drops and they aren't the slowest drying polishes I've ever marbled with, but they're not the fastest drying either. So once I've got my bullseye complete, I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing in my design. Once I've got my design in there, I'm going to go ahead and decide which area I want to dip in. And then I'm going to line up two nails together and go ahead and dip in. Once the surface is clear, you can go ahead and pull out your nails. And there's the water marble. See, I got a little piece right here that actually went back on top of it. But it's not too noticeable. I'm going to go ahead and grab my tweezers and go ahead and pull off the tape and latex carefully. Like so. Then I'm going to go ahead and marble the rest of my nails before finishing cleanup.
of the downsides of not having as many rings is that you don't necessarily end up with as much design. So I have a couple nails that look a little bit lopsided in comparison to the other, like this middle nail here. What I'm actually going to do is a little bit of polish surgery. I'm going to take a little bit of the one coat black and put it out on a lid. And then with a small brush, I'm just going to add in some fake water marble petals to this nail and any others that just look a little barren. Once you're done with cleanup, you can finish with a top coat. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. So here's the finished manicure, and while Christine didn't seem to think that these would water marble, and I wasn't really sure myself, I think the finished manicure turned out really cool. I was a little bit frustrated at first with how the kind of thicker, chunky design was placing itself on my nails, but the little bit of polish surgery I did, adding back in some black in strategic places, I think really did the trick and helped me to fall back in love with this manicure. I do prefer working on a paper towel for nail art for many reasons, but it can mess with the color saturation a little bit with deeper colors like this. So I did want to give you guys a look with a black background here at the end. And of course the other limitation of my usual setup is that the ring light is not the best thing for hollows. So I also want to give you guys a little bit of flashlight time like I was giving to my live audience. Of course, if you want to check out that live stream archive, it will be up here on YouTube in the next couple days. And if you'd like to join me for a live stream, you can come follow over at twitch.tv slash ColetteMSLP. Of course, I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, I hope you'll leave a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.